are never too far gone. My name is Playbruption, and welcome back to Stardew Valley, where life is easy and farming is hard. All right, off the bat, we've got a couple things. The berries and corn are ready to be picked, and tomorrow is the Stardew, or the, yeah, the, the Valley Fair is tomorrow, basically, is what I'm getting at. So we are going to go tomorrow, and if we get enough thingy jobbers, whatever it is, we can, um, what is like tokens, whatever they have there, if we get enough of them, I did not get enough gold near the corn. If we get enough tokens, we can get a star drop, which increases our stamina. So we are definitely going to be shooting for that. Let me look at the bundles real quick. What do I need? Fall crops. I just need one piece of corn and then five golden ones. All right, let's water the crops. And then um, I don't know what I'll do until tomorrow. I may just sleep because I don't know how long it's going to take me at the fair. I kind of just want to get it over with and like get it done. But we'll see. All right, that gigantic garden is watered. Let's take that one ear of corn up to the community center. And give it to that one bundle. I still am waiting on that golden ear of corn for the other bundle. But we can knock out this bundle. And I, I guess I might forge a little bit. I might just sleep and get ready and get ready for tomorrow because the fair is tomorrow. And I am excited for that fair. And this is actually going to complete a bundle for us. Yeah, look at us go. One of the only bundles I've completed so far. Oh, we got a bee house. Thank goodness. I really had, didn't do much. I didn't play this much when I first started this Let's Play or when I started this series on the channel. Um, the, this is the very first level I played of the game, was the one you're seeing right now. I've played a lot of games with my friend, and since then, and I've learned a lot about the game, like, oh, uh, you need fall crop bundles to do this, and I've learned a lot more about the game, but when I first started playing this game, I had no earthly idea how the bundles worked. I didn't even know they, I mean, even after Mary Lewis told me, I'm kind of just like, ah, I'm gonna ignore it, I don't think it's important. But it is important, and I completely ignored it until, like, mid-summer, so... I kind of screwed myself over on a lot of the bundles, which is basically going to push most of them until next season or next year, but I'm not too concerned about it. Live and learn. All right, you two are both behind now for some unearthly reason, and I think I don't need you guys anymore, do I? The eggplants? I'm pretty sure I'm, like, done with you guys. Yeah, don't need the eggplants anymore so I can sell those. And let's water the crops, and let's go to the fair. And the fair has begun in Town Square. We gotta hurry up watering and get to there because... Actually, I think it's still like 3 p.m. I think I got plenty of time to finish watering and get there. And then we'll get a star drop, hopefully. Let's go to the fair and get ourselves a star drop. Alrighty, so... Um, to get the star drop, I believe it's 8,000... Things? No, 2,000. That's not bad at all. So only 2,000 for a star drop. I will buy 1,000 worth of stars. And the main way I do it is by gambling. <laughs> Um, we'll place green. We'll just put, like, five on green. We're going to start kind of small. It lands on green almost, I'd say, 85% of the time. So, typically, if it's going to land, it's going to land on green here. I wait. So, I typically, is what I do is I bet really small on green, usually amounts of five. And when I lose, I will go bigger bets. Because typically, if it lands on orange, most likely it's going to land on green the next time. So, I wait till it lands on orange, and then I put a lot of money on green, and it most of the time works out. It's not uncommon for it to bite me in the butt and I lose everything, but that's just how gambling works. Nobody said it was a good idea. It's just the way I do things. Because so there's going to be our first orange, so now I'm probably going to bet like 20 on green. And hopefully, this pays off. Otherwise, it's going to take a long time. I may just start editing it out of the video if I fail too much. Cut, check. And now we go back to smaller amounts until it lands on orange again. Okay, so I have got... I. Gonna do a little bit of a gamble here. It just landed on orange. I'm pretty confident it is going to land on green. So we're gonna go with a big bet and hope it pays off. It might not, and then I'll just cut more out of this video. This video might be short if this doesn't go right. Oh, that's good. Boom! 800 tickets away from glory. Alrighty, well, after an intense 15 minute session, 15 minute gambling session, I believe we have enough stars to buy everything over here I want. I'm not 100% sure. What do you got? Oh, that's 800. That, I'm not there yet. I need 1,400 in total, right? 3,400 in total. So we'll, we gotta go a little bit more and we'll be able to buy everything at the shop. So we're not quite done with our gambling. Well, I'm out though. Let's put some, let's set up the display case. Um, I don't know really what to do. I guess we'll go with three gold pumpkins across the back, three gold ears, and then we'll actually, we'll set it up like this and then we'll go with the cranberry in the middle. It's a weird display, but maybe the mayor will like it. Maybe he likes weird. Alrighty, with that amount of tickets, that is going to be all the tickets I need to buy everything I need and have a little bit extra. Then I might play some of the carnival games, just because I, I typically just, this is all I do. Give me a dried sunflower. Oh, there's a light green rug. Oh, I didn't see this stuff. Crap, we got to go back to gambling. 
right, that is an even 5,000 tickets. I believe that is all the tickets I need for sure this time. Let's go buy everything and then let's do this display case. Okay, give me the fedora, give me the rare crow, give me the star drop. We got it. It's the main thing right there. Going Super Saiyan! And now my stamina will be increased, so that's great, especially for the massive garden I have. We'll buy the light green rug, and I can we buy the hay? I don't know what I can do with 100 pieces of hay, but I bought it. All right, Lewis, display case is set up. Yep, judging, time to go, buddy. Start the judging. I understand if you need some time, my crops are so amazing, you may just be standing there drooling over them for a couple minutes, and I understand. So, you know, just take your time. Um, okay, it's been judged. Come on, Lewis, what's the situation? Not bad, you won second. Rating of 75, what is that? Your prize is 500 star tokens. Spend them wisely. Oh, no, all right, well, 500 tokens, that doesn't really mean much for me. All right, let's head on out of here. Um, Second place, so I'm assuming first place probably just got you like 1,000 stars, yeah, in the festival. That's That'd be my guess anyway. If he smokes, it gets dark out. Okay, we have got ourselves a, get this old decor off my table. I am putting a lovely base up there. I have got a pimpin' new fedora to rock around instead of a baseball hat. Um, I also got this lovely new rug. Wow, that is a big rug. Can I rotate that? Oh, look at that luscious rug as you walk in. I also got a rare crow, which I guess I will put down here to just make sure all the crops over here are covered. Ah, oh, what a lovely day in Stardew. I got my new rare crow. I got my new pimpin' fedora, which I look mighty dapper in, I might add. Okay, and another take on. Another gigantic garden watered again. I, I might just fish a little bit for the rest of the day. I don't know. It's too late in the season to get ready to plant more crops. How about sprinklers? What is that situation looking like? So I need to, I can make quality sprinklers. So as of now, the plan is for overwinter, upgrade the watering can and make a ton of quality sprinklers. So I may go out of the mine. I don't have a ton of stamina. Maybe I shouldn't do that. Actually, I'm gonna eat these for energy. Let's do that. Let's go in the mine. Yeah, I need to actually enter this in 20 minutes and maybe buy a better sword than what I have. Wait, 2 p.m.? Dad, come on, I thought it was 12 p.m. All right, well, never mind. We're going to the mine. Maybe when I'm done mining, I'll swing by there and pick up a new sword and see what they have available. I got some money to spend, but at the same time, I shouldn't spend too much and screw myself over and be short on money before winter. So let's try and get to level 40. Gosh, these things are freaking indestructible. Holy smokes. Gracious, whatever they are made of is a flipping... I wish I could make a sword out of whatever they're made out of, because holy smokes. Okay, one more level, and we are all the way down to level 40, and out of this dark dungeon that I hate. And... Boom. I got a slingshot, a very useless item in this game, but nonetheless, I got it. Let's go swing by the Adventures Guild on the way home. Cutlass, 9 to 17. 1,500, I like that. And then, can I sell this to you? Yeah, it's not much money, but it's a little bit. All right, boom. Got a much better sword now for slicing down those freaks in the mine. And yeah, good deal. Let's swing by the community center, drop off this red mushroom. And we'll be in good position, we'll be in good sitting. And moment of truth, boom, all we need is red mushroom. Another, we got two bundles complete this episode. I'm really happy with this episode. And I got five Autumn's Bounty for a meal. So I need the Winter Foraging, which I will be able to do. And then I need 100 stones. I probably have that at the house. And then the Spring Foraging, which like I said, when I first played this game, I had no idea how this worked. So the first two seasons, I just biffed it on the Community Center. All right, I've decided to run some stones to the Community Center because I don't, go, I don't pass out until 2 a.m. So I got time to make it out there dump some stones, and make it back. We is about to finish up our third bundle of the day, or of the session. Look at us go. Flipping like professionals at this game. And we got a charcoal kit. Awesome. All right, well, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure if you have something you want me to play, you post it in the comments so I can take a look at it. But remember, love runs the world. So don't forget to run the world.